our number one story on the countdown tonight. What if you need a different kind of help? Men, picture this. You're alone. She's there. What do you say? How do you say it? How do you avoid looking like a creep? And why is the 21st century so very complicated? Well, we may not have answers for all of that. But Countdown's Monica Novotny has the story of one new approach. Monica, good evening. Hi there, Alex. You might remember the term wingman from the 1986 top Cr Tom Cruise movie, Top Gun. Well, in the dating world, a guy's wingman is his friend, a buddy. Another guy who helps him look good in front of potential dates when they're out looking for the ladies. But now there may be a better option, a wing woman. I've convinced a lot of girls I went to high school with them. That's for sure. <laughs> you know? She may stretch the truth, but she'll probably get you a date. Because that's her job. Gentlemen, meet the wing woman. If a girl sees a guy with another guy, they're immediately like, oh, they're out to pick up a chick. But a guy with a girl totally like, this guy is cool because the girl's cool, so there's got to be something good about him. Yes, this is actually a business. The theory that women are more likely to respond to a man with a female friend, the wing woman, who breaks the ice, makes nice, then introduces him. <laughs> Founder Shane Forbes um, charges fifty dollars okay, so an hour for the service, and though he but can't guarantee you'll get a date, anyone who the client wants to meet, the wing woman will will introduce him to, and we also guarantee that every guy who's that's going to have a great time. So we found our own volunteer to test it out with a hidden camera in his shirt. Brian, twenty-four, single, successful, and thus by definition, always on the lookout. So. I guess right now we'll just uh, find out what kind of girls you're into. After getting to know her client, the wing woman uh, takes aim. I'm here with my friend, Brian, and we thought that we know you from somewhere. I don't know, my name's Monica. You look so familiar to me. Success, but right. why stop at one? Let's go over there and order, some, order another beer, and I'm going to tell her like the color for sure. Can you guys work together? Seems to be working, but how do the women feel? After we told them they'd been taped, they agreed to take part and weigh in. It's a little bit pathetic that you have to go to these lengths to possibly meet a woman. He came across as like a really nice guy and kind of, and I was more interested in him because he was with uh, a girl. So just how popular are the wing women? Well, right now they say they're expanding in New York, Chicago, Las Vegas, and Miami. But if you want to give it a shot, there is one risk. They seem to be together. I mean, I didn't, honestly, I didn't feel it was an opening. But for our single guy, it forces you to kind of be proactive about it. And, and you're out there, and before you know it, you've met six women. And, and I don't know. All I can say is it was a good time. Mission complete. Though a wing woman's work is never done. I'm like scoping out girls now all the time. You know, it's like I'll be out on a date, and I'm thinking, oh, she's cute. <laughs> The business owner, Shane Forbes, says he's paying the wing women $20 to $30 an hour for their matchmaking services, and he says he has far more applicants for the job than he needs. Also, we should say thanks for our volunteer tester, Brian. The wing woman evaluated him as well mm -hmm, and said that he didn't need her help at all, of course. Now, do these wing women, do they get free drinks? That's, you know, that's not part of the deal. They just pay the flat fee, $50 an hour. It's a three-hour minimum, but there is no tipping, and they don't have to buy them drinks. But they say, you know, it might help you. She might be a little more helpful, but their job is to introduce the women, so that's Ahead it. Ahead of the curve, as always. Countdown to Monica <laughs> Novotny. Thank you.